Welcome back, everybody. You know who I am. Welcome to Dylan's Comics. Dylan's also been doing some live streaming on his com his YouTube channel. He's a gamer. He's my son, and he's a gamer, and he's the one who this channel is named after, as you all know. It's, uh, this guy. So gaming on YouTube, I just was watching him live, and I was able to, you know, converse with him, which was really cool, you know. That's all we can do, really, until we see each other. So today, we're just like we did last Sunday. Last Sunday, we did Superman. So this Sunday, we're going to do The Flash. There he is. This is the Alex Ross figure. I love him. Here's his little brother. Not as much detail there. And as you can see behind me, very excited. I saw this thing because I saw the movie, the King Kong movie, the updated one. I've seen them all, you know what I mean? And this boy, look at the size of this fucking thing, will you? Holy mackerel, man. One of these girls at work, a bit of a dim bulb. She's like, it's scaring me. Yeah, it, I guess it is kind of scary. <laughs> He is so cool. Now, you put batteries in him, and he roars and beats his chest and all that, but no, no, no. I don't like putting batteries in stuff like this. I don't think it's a good idea. So, the story behind my King Kong, or we'll call him Bernie Kong, is 25 bucks, right, when it first came out. I was ready to pull the trigger then. I thought, it's worth 25 bucks the size of this thing. No, you may not have that. It is too expensive. If it goes down in price, maybe. So it did. It went down at my Walmart in the clearance section for $19. Still too expensive. Still too expensive. Then I found it in Platteville, Walmart clearance section, for $15. I'm like, come on. That's $3 more than what she said, right? So I got him and I bought him into work. And of course she was pissed off because I, you know, she said, I said, 12, 12, can't you count? Don't you know the difference between 12 and 15? Don't you? Yeah, I do. Three bucks. Okay, come on. Look at this guy. Now we have to think of a name for him. She wants me to call him Bernie, but I think we'll leave that out in the YouTube community. So you guys take a vote and see. Who you want to name this guy after in our YouTube community, you know? And you guys know all the names. And I have so many shout-outs and thank yous. And we're up to uh, 212. Not bad. i got to do some kind of contest. I just don't like doing those things because I don't really have anything I can give away. I ain't giving away him. <clears throat> no way. No way. So we'll put him back here with us so you can see him. She's not happy. She keeps threatening. She's going, I'll throw it away. I'll throw it away. No, you won't. No, you won't. We have other special guests, and these aren't really not puppets, but I like to call them puppets. Look at who we have. Look, it's a little Silver Age Dave. So Silver Age Dave Jr. Ooh. Ooh. He's coming to get you. Silver Age Dave Jr. There he is. Well, I can't get him. Let's see if we can get a close-up of him. He's pretty cool, isn't he? So there's Silver Age Dave Jr. Here's our friend Silver Age Dave. Your room tours are great. Your collection's fantastic. Hey, thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming to my show. This will be my show now. I'll take over the show for this idiot. This idiot doesn't know his own name. He's not allowed to buy nothing without his wife's permission. Idiot! Idiot! Dave, you got us. Jeez. And then, of course, you know, Michael Dodd's back. He did a whole show <laughs> on the creature because he's the creature. There he is. Hello, everybody. I'm Silver Age. I'm a Michael Dodd. I'm Michael Dodd. Woo, talk about whooped. This boy whooped. And then we have a little Michael Dodd. There he is, Michael Dodd Jr. 
So we got Michael Todd Jr. and Silver Age Dave Jr. Flash. Can't see. He's too fast. He's too fast for me, kids. Ooh. Ooh goofy looking, isn't he? All right. Got a lot of books to go through. Well, uh, but yesterday, work related, we all got together for. It was my birthday, y'all. It's not how you start the day. It's how you finish it. So him and I went to the comic book store while the girls went to the thrift store next door. We did good. He did a lot better than me. He's collecting, for you Marvel fans out there, all the, the X-Men titles. And you know, there's thousands and thousands of them. But he's, he got to get a good chunk. They have 50% off. It's in Dyersville. I think I've showed the card before. I don't have it with me. It's, like I say, it's the one, the little tiny one that, that was a one and done with uh, Willie back there. And But we did, he did really good. He spent about 21 bucks. I spent about 30 but I needed bags and boards. So, And on the work front, we have somebody who had a real rough day on Friday thanks to a certain person, a pot stirrer, who's been in and out of the office talking and causing problems at work. So, But Peyton, here's your shout-out, Peyton. I'm sorry you have to be one of my favorites. I have so many favorites, but they picked on this one for some reason. And she's such a sweet kid and a very, very beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman. So there's your shout-out, Peyton, even though you don't watch my show. It's okay. It's okay. When you get to the bottom of this, someone's not going to be walking around no more. Ooh. And, of course, we didn't bring him yesterday to the comic book store, and I was quite happy about that. Why can't you treat me like an adult? Why? Because you're not one. <sighs> Kid drives me nuts. He's a nice boy, don't get me wrong. It drives me nuts. Okay. Now, I don't know if I showed you. I think I showed you these guys already. I think I'm going to take these to work and give them out. Maybe Sadie will get these. Oh, another favorite. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Another one. Ooh. I'm fi I'll be 55 years old in June. <clears throat> Just because I like you doesn't mean anything beyond that. I am very happily married. I'm a nice guy. I get along with people. The reason why I'm off the phone is because I know how to coach people. That's why. Not tell stories and get things started. I don't know. Anyway, let's forget about that crap at work because it's Sunday and it's Flash Day. So let me start showing you some books. Now, first off, I did pick up a couple of things at the comic shop. This is one for Rebirth, one I did not have. This is number 20, of course. Jenny Friesen. I'll love her. I'll, anytime I see this, I'm picking it up. I think I'm going to try to get some doubles of these because these are definitely wall books for me. You know, right up here with the collection under the flash. Maybe I will put this one in a frame. I have those frames. You can get them at BAM. They're like I think five bucks. I'm not sure. Ooh, I do have some shout outs to do too real quick. Um, but okay. Uh, comic Sniper. Um, flipping Out. Blade H12, Rayman, the Silencer Man. He has coming up with a DC show. I hope to see that. Um, Tacoma Comics, Dr. Von Chilla, Solid Four Street Blend. Michael Smith, been watching every one of his videos on the Roku. I finally got to shout him out. Brian Spaceboy227, Aleron, Vincenzo, Vincenzo C, Boom Boom Comics. Fabian Photo Drone. You gotta check this dude out, man. It is really cool. A Melvin Jones, RB3, Tao Mao, um, a Gills 311, Max Martinez, ADI Samurai, excellent, excellent guy. Michael Jocko, Josh Locke, Ryan Marone, Rogue 122, and your geeky neighbor. So those are my shout outs for today. And next, I'll show you this one. I had to pick this up. I've been having so much fun. I know I always say I'd rather collect the moderns than the older ones because just because condition. And I'll show you again how that does make a difference. But this one, I saw this on so many YouTubers. I had to get it. Look at this. Look 
There are so many cool Batman covers. I, I would be literally from ceiling to the floor. Look at this. It is just amazing. Amazing artwork. Absolutely amazing. All right, now this is another in my monster collection. As you know, I love the old monster books. And as these guys know as well, there he is, Mini Silver Age Dave and Mini Michael Dodd. They love these too. This one's really cool. Check it out. The Invisible Man, number one, or is it number one? No, number two, Supernatural Tales featuring The Invisible Man. And this is from H.G. Wells. <laughs> so cool. Look at the artwork on this thing, man. Isn't that awesome? I love him. Love the Invisible Man. And then I picked him up. He was about five. It was 50% off. So he was about five, six bucks. And I got it for half of that. And then this was a title from my youth. Again, I'm, I'm really looking forward to starting to find more of these. And if I can, it's hard out here. It is very, very hard out here. It's not like back east where you can find anything. Here, thin pickings. I have lucked out, but that's just because I, it's the hunt. Check this out. No, 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 not this one. Not this one. Hang on. You already saw that. This is it. This one. Now, this was my favorite Marvel supervillain team up. I think it was the only supervillain team up. Don't quote me on that. With Doctor Doom and my favorite, the Submariner. This is. I had this when I was a kid. Now again. The price tag on this was $11.99. It was half off, so I got it for that. But Spine Roll, I mean, it's not bad. And then if you look right here, right here, it, it's there's a piece missing, sort of. It's trying to, like, I don't know what it is. I guess it got cut off there. It's minor. But, you know, uh, again, I'm not flipping it. This is staying with me. Um, so I was happy about that. And then with the bags and boards, I spent about 30 bucks. And then this just goes with my monster collection. You've seen these before. Frankenstein, Dracula, and now I've got the Invisible Man. I still need the mo Werewolf and the Mummy. And then um, this is another sort of a horror book, Dark Man. These are just ones that were in my collection. And then Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos. I just thought that was funny, you know, Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos. So let's get to the Flash books because that's what this is. It's a Flash day. The first one was the Flash Rebirth from 2009. So this predates Rebirth. I also have um, one of those hanging up too underneath the other Flash one. This is an awesome cover. Again, I'm not real familiar with the story. They may have covered this on the DC um, CW show, The Flash, which is phenomenal. I love this one. This is number two. So I guess it's, it's sort of like Flashpoint. I think I have a Flashpoint in this pile. Hold on. Let me look. Here's number three with Superman. So there you go. That's a good one to hang up to. This one's really cool. Number four. Again, I don't know if these are worth anything. I just, I think my neighbor Joe gave me these. This is the one I have up on the wall. I had two of these. That's meant, I love that one a lot. And these are all in mint condition. I mean, perfect, perfectly, perfectly, you know, there's not a thing wrong with these. And so this is the 2009 Spike TV uh, Scream Awards, Scream Awards winner, uh, best comic book uh, writer. So Jeff Johns. Yeah. Okay, now the next one I have is the sixth one. This one I really like a lot because it's got all the different speedsters on there. I don't know who some of these people are. I know the Kid Flash and my Flash, the Golden Age one. Check this out.
Yeah, that's number six. And I th think that's all. That's all that I have. I don't know if the series went further, but I think it was a mini series. Here's the button one. I showed this before. I just love that. I loved Jay Garrett, Garrett Flash. And this I have something similar to this hanging on the wall. That's the TV one. That's I love him. He's a great Flash, a really great Flash. <clears throat> this is number 45. I like this one because Zoom's on it. So this is from the um, New 52 ending of the New 52. This is like the TV show now. He's in jail. This is 50. Thick books. 51. Love that. That's a really cool cover. 52. This is the regular cover. And I also had the variant for the new 52 run, which is awesome. I'm not sure who this is, but I don't know. This is the variant one. And I believe I did pay. I didn't pay anything for these because these were flip books that I traded. This one's awesome. Now this, if I can find more of these, I, I absolutely will get the Flashpoint because that's the one. That is amazing. Look at that. There all the guys are back there too. The artwork is just phenomenal on these. Absolutely phenomenal. This might be a variant too. You know that? This is from July 2011. I love that. I would never get rid of that. This is the Flash run. Um, looks like from 90s, 1993. I think this is when Wally West was the Flash. Nothing significant there. It's just if I can find these for a couple of bucks, I'll pick them up any day of the week. You know what I mean? Just for the covers. 85. This is your rebirth. This is the rebirth flashes of all the number ones that I picked up. So this is number one. That's a cool cover. This was the Walmart packages one. Same thing. Did you see the no price on the other side? But it's the same exact cover. Uh, Another one, another number one. This is a Walmart too. This came in the uh, the three three for five dollar ba bags. I hope they do those again soon. Here's another Walmart. That's really cool. This is a variant that I did get from Todd. I know this is a. I think it's a variant too, but I'm not really sure what this is all about. It's number two who that person is or that character is. This is number five. Again, I don't like the artwork on this one too much. Not as goofy looking as him, though. I always make him such a wise ass. I never found him to be that way. This one's really cool. When I saw these, I'm like, oh, I have to get them. This one, too. Excellent. Yeah, this is another one, number seven. I don't know who that guy is. See, I never read him, so. And then here's that one we saw. So it was a reprint for number one. It's number nine. And then these are, uh, this is the button one. This is really cool. I had to get that. So this was 21, and then 22, I guess, was the other one. 
All right. Well, listen, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to watch Dylan's as well. He's got a great show. If you're into gaming, you know, I got him a PS4 for Christmas and he just loves it. So he's, he can go live. He always texts us and tells us, and then I watch him and I can communicate with him. He's a great kid. Again, all the shout outs. Thank you. Um, like I'm glad I got him. And then remember, yeah, if you can think of who you want me to name him after, you just put a little comment there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and say, who do you want? What's, what's your King Kong be? What character can he be? Oh, look at this. Look at his butt. That's all the girls are talking about. The freaking toy's butt. Look at it. What can I tell you? Crazy women. Okay, so for Chris Lackey and Lou Lackey and Dylan Lackey, Thanks for watching Dylan's comics, and I'll see you next time.